Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started! Now we are going to start creating our first flows. But before we create the flow, we need to create the data structure that we will run the flow on top of it. In the following examples, I'm going to use a SharePoint list to automate stuff around it, when an item is created or generating a daily report, for example. And I'm going to use the same list that we used to create our app in the previous module. If you didn't do the timesheet management app, then you can just go to that module and see the lessons where I created the task list. In there, I created the site and the task list. And as you can see here, the list has the following columns. The ID, that's a column that's already generated when we create an item. And each item we create will create a unique ID. The task date, that's a date column. The worked hours, that's a number column. The description, that's a text column. The project ID, that's a number column. The approval status, that's a choice column with the options approved, pending, and rejected. And then we have the last three columns that are default columns. They are already created when we create an item. We didn't need to configure that. That's the created by, created, and modified. So if you don't have the list yet, I highly recommend you to go back and watch those lessons in the previous module. And if you have, you're already fine to start creating your own flows. In the next lesson, we are going to start creating our automated cloud flow. That's a flow that's going to run when a task is created in our lists. You don't need to have the app to create the task because you can come here and create and add a new item using the SharePoint interface to add a task right here. So it's fine for learning purposes. We are going to create a flow that will run automatically when a new item is created and is going to send a notification to the approvers that a new task was added in the list. Given that, we also need the approvers list and the list we created also in that app, in the second module where we created the timesheet app. And if we look at the approvers list, it's a very simple list because right now we are just keeping the email of the approvers. So we just created a new column that's a text column and called it email like this without the dash. With these two lists, we are ready to start building our automations. So see you in the next lesson. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.